Northern Ontario has a lot to offer, and a new federal initiative is underway to help the region attract immigrants. John Thompson is our Ontario Hub editor covering the northwestern part of this province, and he joins us now from our studio at Confederation College in Thunder Bay. Welcome to the show. Hey, Jan. Thanks for having me. Now, John, you have a piece on TBO.org that looks at immigration in northwestern Ontario. Tell us about the need there. We were surprised in 2015 in Thunder Bay to have the North Superior Workforce Planning Board release a report that said that Thunder Bay District, the population of 150,000, is going to require 50,000 in migrants by 2041. That would be 25 years. Uh, so that, that's a third of the population. Um, in in much of northern Ontario, it's the same. In the larger centers, it's particularly acute. Uh, Thunder Bay is extreme, but in all of the major centers and most of the small towns in northern Ontario, we're looking at uh, we're looking at sharply declining populations over the next couple of decades. I'm curious about that pace. You said fifty thousand over twenty five years. What's the pace right now? Uh, we're only looking at maybe uh, between fifty and one hundred a year. Uh, right now, and that's in terms of immigrants, not in migrants. There's not as clean of a way of recognizing just mm -hmm. people who are who are moving in and out of here. Uh, but the numbers are not looking good. Uh, it's it's at least twenty times more than we're currently doing a year in Thunder Bay. Proper. And, and so the federal government, of course, is trying to fix that. They launched earlier this year a pilot project. Tell us how that's working. The uh, rural and northern uh, immigration pilot is based on the Atlantic pilot, uh, which uh, we're told is just about doubled the immigration numbers in uh, Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island uh, and increased uh, the retention rate by about 30 percent. So uh, that project uh, is for 11 communities across Canada, uh, five of which are in northern Ontario. So that's Thunder Bay, Sault Ste. Marie, Sudbury, Timmins, and North Bay, what we call the big five in the north, uh, will all be targeted for immigration uh, over the, the course of this pilot. So of course we're in the middle of an election. Uh, this, this pilot project was launched just a few months ago. Will the outcome of the election affect the pilot project? I think it's more likely to say the outcome will grow on the project. Um, the municipal leagues of northwestern and northeastern Ontario had hoped that they would that the feds would look at a regional uh, development aspect to this. They have chosen instead these five larger centers. Mm -hmm. um, when uh, when you speak to uh, Jagmeet Singh of the of the NDP, uh, he says that it, should the NDP be elected, um, the project will become permanent. Uh, Elizabeth May and the Green Party feels strongly in support of those what she calls hubs uh, and feels the federal government has a role in nurturing uh, those communities um, and the supports that are available to them. Um, and so, and the Liberals will allow uh, this to, to work out the way it will. I think what's important to remember is that the, um, is that this is, will only be one stream. And so it's not as if this can handle the actual entire immigration needs of the region. Now, it's one story to have immigrants coming to that region, but there's another story of having them stay there, build a family, and, and et cetera. How can newcomers be encouraged to stay? I know this is a question many municipalities want to know, but how can newcomers be encouraged to stay in this region? Well, I think uh, the way that they're doing that is, uh, is based on those uh, those communities of support and the federal government's services uh, being stronger uh, in those larger communities. When I speak to mayors uh, and uh, economic development officers in smaller communities across northern Ontario, uh, they all kind of say the same thing, and that's that they, they do have the problem with uh, cultural coagulation. Uh, but if you look at the immigration uh, makeup of northern Ontario, particularly Thunder Bay and Sudbury, uh, we're already starting to see a change, a shift in traditional Traditionally, you would have found uh, Italians, uh, Finnish people, uh, Polish, uh, a Ukrainian, German, and you're seeing a lot more people from China, from India, from Vietnam, um, and, uh, and from Nepal. And that is already beginning to change the cultural makeup of, of the major centers in northern Ontario uh, as those other uh, older immigration populations begin to age out of the workplace. And the other half of that will be uh, encouraging young people to move home. 
home. And you're seeing that in Sault Ste. Marie in particular, they're doing uh, a good job with uh, with retaining their young people from leaving. Uh, Thunder Bay is doing a good job at having uh, local people coming home more and more often. Um, and so all of this will be sort of a tapestry uh, as they attempt to reach these numbers to replace the aging populations and retain uh, the size of the existing economies. Remember, if we don't do this, we're going to see economic contraction. Um, and that's and that's something that, that that's the reason this is on the front burner for Northern Ontario. And something we will keep a close eye on. John Thompson, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you for bringing in uh, some major issues and topics during this election. Thank you so much, Jan. Pleasure as always. The Agenda with Steve Pakin is brought to you by the Chartered Professional Accountants of Ontario. CPA Ontario is a regulator, an educator, a thought leader, and an advocate. We protect the public. We advance our profession. We guide our CPAs. We are CPA Ontario. And by viewers like you. Thank you.